terms of it, when you when you've experienced all of these other theatre makers and their views on on making theatre for young audiences, was there anything that that you came back to Norway thinking actually this is very Norwegian? This, there's a particular way of thinking or something that we do in Norway that 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 others don't do. Is there anything that kind of crystallized for you? Det blir veldig synlig at vi eh, utvikler lite nytt for eh, både barn og ungdom. Det er klart man... Ja. It becomes uh, very clear, very evident that we develop very little in terms of plays or, or writing for kids and youth. Det er i hvert fall mitt inntrykk av at, uh, at de uh, er kommet at de aktivt producerer mye mer nytt og er mye mer interessert i nytt materiale eh, Danmark, Sverige eller Tyskland som er de landene som jeg har haft mest å gjøre med. Mm. At least it's my impression or my belief that um, they're more actively searching and producing this kind of material uh, out there and specifically in countries um, Denmark, Sweden, Germany which I've uh, collaborated with. Men um, Det er klart det skjer veldig mye i skolesekk i Norge som man ikke eh, merker noe særlig til offentlig. Det synes jeg er et stort eh, savn. But then again, there are uh, lots of developments and a lot of things happening in the Arts for Schools program in Norway, which unfortunately we don't feel the effect of in the public Norway, the public sector. Mm, fordi dette bare blir spilt for skolene, og ikke for et offentlig publikum. Because these pieces are only performed for a school audience in schools and not for an open audience at a theater. What about uh, things like themes, subjects, um, the, how brave you are in terms of approaching difficult subjects? Are there, are there any differences between the countries in that sense? I can't really answer generally for that. Men uh, det lille inntrykk jeg har av hva, hva jeg synes jeg så i Tyskland, da, så vil jeg si at de kanskje er forsiktigere enn jeg har en følelse av at vi er her. Mm. Uh, men uh, det er ikke så, jeg kan ikke spa- snakke generelt, egentlig. Mm. It's hard for me to answer that generally. It's, um, but based on the little impression I have from working in Germany, um, it seems they're, they're a bit more careful than perhaps I would have thought. Mm. Okay, let's go back to your writing specifically. Um, and let's, uh, let's talk about uh, writing for, for teenagers specifically. Um, do you, um, you've talked about the fact that you set the plays in, in their world and in their lives. Now, um, how do you but you still have to create that world in a sense if it's a fictional world how do you go about uh, how do you go about your work how do you go about creating that story to talk about yeah I would, i'm just curious in your personal process as a, as a writer um, i disse projekten som jag har gjort så uh, finns det ju gärna en, en del rammer i form av antal skådespelare um, i form av uh, for at uh, disse stykkene har, uh, eller forestillingene har jo både turnert i skolesekk, men også vært for et åpent publikum. Uh, og når man lager ting på skolesekk, så blir man veldig precis i forhold til uh, hvilke klassetrinn man lager ting for. Mm. Um, og det handler jo ikke egentlig om, unnskyld. In the uh, projects I've done, there's always, um, there are certain settings or certain things are decided from the get-go from the start. Um, like for instance, when you work for the school uh, arts and schools program, you're very precise in terms of what your target audience is. Is it lower middle school, upper middle school? Um, number of actors could be set. There are certain things you need to consider. It doesn't matter about the topic, but how you handle the topic, I would say that you can actually talk about what you want, but that's the way you talk about it. That doesn't um, affect the theme of what you're writing, but it affects how you write about that theme or how you um, touch upon that theme. 
Men hvis du spør hvor jeg begynner, mm. eh, så er jo det gjerne med å, å finne en hovedkarakter som har et eh, dilemma eh, eller en situation som är er, eh, en utfordring. Og hvis jeg har den, så er jeg, føler jeg mig trygg, og da kan jeg liksom eh, hive mig litt på. I uh, start with finding a lead character for my stories, uh, a character with a dilemma or a certain specific situation, and once I find that, once I have that, I get a freedom and I can uh, start my adventure of writing beyond that. Mm. Um, you're talking about the dilemma and you're talking about the, you know, creating a, a, a problematic situation for a character. Um, now, from, from that seed, like actually, you know, practically, how do you go about creating, you know, then the, the full story towards the whatever resolution the story is going to have? Do you uh, do you plot out the scenes? Do you just write, you know, from the first scene and and and, and out? Do you uh, brainstorm? I mean, how do you actually go about the your writing process? Det er egentlig veldig forskjellig. Det er klart, når man gjør bestillingsverk, så er man ofte tvunget litt på godt og vondt, men faktisk mest på godt til å beskrive vad man tänker och lage før man egentlig har gjort det. Mm. Og, og sånn sett så blir jeg da tvunget til å lage en slags handlingsgang som går fra A til A. That varies a lot based on the project. So for instance, when I do a commissioning piece, in most of those settings you're required to plot out or write out what you're going to write about before you actually write about it. Um, so, um, uh, ofte så er det en slags trygghet for at jeg kan avvike fra den uh, underveis, men jeg vet omtrent hvor jeg skal. So a lot of times that's a, a security net or, or a piece of safety because you can detour from it, but I always still know where I'm going and where I'm headed. Uh, so I will uh, faktisk... Uh, ja, det, det var ett projekt jag gjorde hvor jeg ikke uh, sk- uh, planlade fra A til A, men vi, det var det fi- frie projektet hvor vi begynte uh, egentlig litt med å tenke tematik og samle og sånn og sånn. Og ja, det var ganske utfordrende å, å dra det i land uh, til slut, <laughs> når det hadde vært helt åpent fra start. There uh, was one project I did where I didn't plan it out through and through from the get-go, and um, it was quite a challenge at the end to sort of pull all these strings together and tie it into one one piece. It was quite a lot of research and material. Mm. Så, so, um, ja, det er klart at de, de rammene som man ofte har på institusjoner med i forhold til antal karakterer og sånn, eller i forhold til antal skuespillere, da, Det er jo uh, rammer som er til stor hjelp, uh, synes jeg ofte. Uh, spilletid og, og uh, aldersgruppe og antal skuespillere. Um, the guidelines that I often get when I work at uh, institutional theaters or bigger theaters in terms of number of actors, target audience, length of play, are often a great help to me. 